Hello students, hope your preparations are going on in full swing. Today we are going to cover a topic that is different poetic forms. Please do not forget to share and subscribe my channel. The first form that I am starting with today is ballad. Ballad is a form of verse, often a narrative set to music. Ballad is uh, that kind of poetry which can music settings very easily. Ja sakti hai. It begins as a folk song and continues even today in popular music, in um, any love song, any movie song, even that. Uh, that we keep on listening today can also be considered ballad. The 13th century manuscript titled Judas is one of the earliest ballads found and one of the most prominent example of ballad is Rhyme of Ancient Mariner by S.D. Coleridge. Now comes Sonnet. Uh, in last year's Delhi University English entrance exam, there was a question about uh, origin of sonnet. In poetry, a sonnet has 14 lines. Each line has 10 syllables. Giacomo de Lentini, also known as Jacopo Notaro, was an Italian poet of 13th century and he was at a senior post in Sicilian school and was a notary at court of the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II. Giacomo is credited with the invention of the sonnet and Petrarch polished and perfected the sonnet form inherited from Giacomo de Lentini and which Dante widely used in Vita Nova is a text that is a text by Dante uh, published in uh, 1295. The form remained largely unknown until it was found and developed by writers such as Shakespeare and uh, Death Be Not Proud by John Donne is a very famous sonnet written in 1633. John Donne was a very famous metaphysical poet. The next one, Villanelle. Villanelle is a dance song coupled with pastoral themes. In literature, it is defined as a poetic device that uh, which requires a poem to have 19 lines and a fixed form. It has five tracets, uh, that is in first 15 lines, a quatrain, last four lines, and a couplet at the end of quatrain. The term was used in France to designate a short poem of popular characters favored by poets. Dylan Thomas' uh, poem, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, is a villanelle example. Here comes the interesting part, that is acrostic. An acrostic is a poem in which the first letter of each line spells out a word, message or alphabet. An acrostic poem is a poem where certain letters in each line spell out a word or phrase. Here you can see an example of the poem. The poem itself is called an acrostic and written by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, the first alphabet of each line is indicating something and when we read out the first letter of each line it makes the word Elizabeth as you can see in red letter form. Elegy uh, An elegy is a sad poem usually written to praise and express sorrow for someone who is dead. Although speech at a funeral is a eulogy, uh, you might later compose an elegy to someone you have loved and lost to the grave. So elegy is a poem of serious reflection, usually, usually a lament for the dead, and it typically mourns the death of the individual. The form of elegy we see today were introduced in 16th century, elegy written in a country churchyard. This poetry by Thomas Gray and when lilacs lost in the dooryard bloomed by Walt Whitman are the two most popular examples of elegy. Epitaph Epitaph is a very short honoring to a recently deceased person. It refers to the text that is inscribed on a tombstone. For example, so we beat on boats against the current, born back ceaselessly into the past. This epitaph has been written on the tombstone of famous playwright, famous novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald. 
beautiful final lines from the most famous and enduring novel great gatsby as well uh, the meaning is we might never overcome the things we once were but like j gatsby and fitzgerald himself we keep on trying when you have given up on the green light you have given up on life the next one odd odd is basically the deep feeling expressions of writers thoughts about a particular place or a subject and odd is such a form of poetry which expresses emotions and is usually addressed to someone or something or some place it represents the poet's feelings poet's musings on that person place or thing in 1918 for example john keats composed six odds which are still till date among his most famous and well regarded poems these are odd on a grecian urn odd on indolence odd on melancholy odd to a nightingale odd to psyche and odd to autumn free verse is a very simple form of poetry it is a literary device that can be defined as a poetry that is free from limitations of regular meter regular rhythm all the regular rules and regulations of poetry and does not rhyme with fixed forms uh, one of the most famous example by walt whitman is a noiseless patient spider here comes epic epic is a long narrative poem which is usually related to heroic deeds of a person of an unusual courage and unparalleled bravery the hero is usually the representative of the values of a certain culture race nation or a particular religious group or whose victory or failure is the destiny of the whole team whole nation whole group like for example achilles in iliad or even characters like arjun and karna in indian mythology mahabharata one of the most prominent example is paradise lost couplet a couplet is a literary device that can be defined as having two successive rhyming line in a particular verse for example all human things are subject to decay and when fate summons monarchs must obey this famous line has been taken from john dryden's satirical poem macfleckno i hope this video has been helpful please subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge about english literature you can contact to join our face to face classes thanks a lot for watching best of luck for your exams